expanding to several Cincinnati neighborhoods in the coming months and years. Ashley tells us how they need the help from nonprofits in those neighborhoods, though, to make it a reality. Yeah, so you know, we think of red bikes mostly in the banks, of course, downtown and in OTR, but they want to be in your neighborhood too to provide a different way to get around. And if your nonprofit wants to get involved, there's a financial incentive for you. We've all seen or even ridden the red bikes around the Cincinnati area, sometimes for recreation or fun, but it can also be a way to run errands or get to work. And it's just a real uh, you know, game changer for everyone's life, whether you're looking to get out and just have fun or you're looking to get to work or do errands. Red Bike is focusing on moving into more Cincinnati neighborhoods. Right now, the focus is on Walnut Hills, Avondale and Evanston. They are calling this the Community Ambassador Program. They want nonprofits in these neighborhoods to apply for grants to help integrate red bikes into those areas. But it's pretty casual. This is a $3,000 stipend to the to the nonprofit for them to use however they like. But we recognize that all of the the neighborhoods that we're the the organizations that we'll be working with, like they already do amazing good work. And so this is another thing that's being added to to their lift. So we want to walk in with some financial uh, support. And there will be three red bike stations in each neighborhood. It's not only about getting the accessibility to the people living there, it's also about education and outreach. Um, we want to work with the nonprofit organization, our leaders in the neighborhood, to do bike advocacy, to do bike rides, to do engagements with people on bikes. We're going to teach them some things in the back end, give them some training, some ride leader training, so they're feeling comfortable in those group rides and they are most knowledgeable about all things bikes in Cincinnati. Soon, Red Bike will add 130 e bikes to their network. They say not only is it more accessible to get a bike these days, it's also safer. We've seen changes over the past eight years in pedestrian behavior, in bike behavior, and in car behavior towards bicyclists. So I think there's always a moving narrative about that. We're not necessarily in the business of uh, trying to get bike lanes built and all that. We put bikes on the street and that's what's important to us. So the application period for those grants is open until March 21st. Red Bike says they should be able to install the bike stations in either late spring or early summer. Of course, we'll have a link online at fox19.com to apply. The, th the coolest thing I think about a Red Bike is the seat is so it fat, is. so it doesn't hurt your bottom very much. Yes. But how much is it? So it's $10 for two hours. However, and this is really interesting, I just found out about this today. They have, I believe it's called Red Bike Go. And it's a program, you have to um, meet some financial requirements, but it's $5 for the entire month. And you can ride unlimited two hour rides at a time. So like if somebody needs it, it's cheaper than a bus route. You know? Yeah, it is, it is. But 10, so 10 bucks for two hours yeah, they assume for your average Joe. At one time, you're only gonna ride two hours. Right, right, so right. Basically $10 a day. Now, if you do need to do, you know, longer than that, you'll have to pay. Do, they, do, do you get charged for like, if you just are on it for like 10 minutes, is it just 10 minutes $10. Worth? You're still going to pay the $10. 10 bucks. Yep. Just go around the block. Exactly. Until your time's up. Get your money's worth. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>